you fight like a rat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, your you. mother sacks. Geralt? I've taken Beringer's job. Decided to handle this problem myself. We have a serious problem. The underwater city is the source of the village's wealth. A while back, a group of our divers went missing. Later, we found their boat adrift. Inside, it was Slaughter Witcher. Someone cut them to bits. Then we learned the Vodyanoi worship a monster that thirsts for human blood. They make bloody sacrifices to it on the island. If you eliminated that monstrosity... Have you tried talking to the Vodyanoi? That makes no sense. They don't understand our language. Anyway, the underwater ruins are of a human city. We're fully entitled to what's there. Kill Dagon. That's the monster's name. The entire village will be grateful, and I'll give you one of my grandfather's diamonds. I'll do it. Dagon emerges from the water when blood runs down the altar. Fish people bleed too, you know. I'm here about the notice. I'll buy any basilisk hides you have. Reptile skin shoes are in fashion in Vizima, you know. I'll come and see you if I find any more. Hurry. No fashion lasts forever. What's up? My fiancée is dead. Slain by her own sister. Bad enough? I see. Geralt? Farewell. I know something you don't. Like what? The funny fishman has come back. Those evil fish people finished eating from the lady's altar. Disgusting! The Vodianoi priest has returned? I must speak with him. And I'm Geralt. Pleased to meet you. I don't speak your language. Your language I speak very well. Evidently. Let's talk. Kneel before lady. Speak easy. No kneel. Must be Dagonalanpatai. No speak. So I'm to pay tribute to the Lady of the Lake? Exact. All right. I've taken Beringer's job. Tell me about this conflict. We underwater live deep. We lady love, yet not all. Many dag on love, lady leave. The humans kill. I plead your sword dag on this love. My give reward. I see. Big blood bovine in village, Dagon for her come. This love Dagon, my give reward. Something sword, something wonderful. You want me to steal the cow and use it to bait Dagon? This love big blood bovine on altar, Dagon come from deep. I'm supposed to kill it on the altar. Prefer human sacrifice. Uraralalu. I'll think about it.
Welcome, Geralt. Forgive me. I don't remember your name. For you do not know it, but I know you. By reputation. I should warn you Dandelion takes many liberties in his ballads. I have confidence in my source. The mermaid, Sheenaz. Mermaid? Yes. Why are you surprised? What did Sheenaz tell you? That you prevented conflict between the Prince of Aglival and the inhabitants of the underwater city of Iz. Thanks to you and your friends, humans and the Vaudianoi of Iz tolerate one another. Encouraging. I hope all goes well here. Shinaz mentioned your intelligence. I invite you to use it. Speak with the Varianoi chaplain and the human named Julian. Who are you? They call me the Lady of the Lake. Is that a talkative fisherman your servant? Servant, no. Women on occasion need men. To secure food and protection, naturally. I see. Hosts of knights once defended my honor, but that was long ago. My poor, sickly Fisher King alone remains. Milady, do you approve? You sent a troubled soul into the beyond. You revealed Alina to herself with a song. True. Yes? Milady, they say I returned to life, but lost my memory. Can you help me? I know you didn't return by chance. First, you must answer. Do you believe in destiny? I believe in something more. Mysterious and confident. You will regain your identity and achieve your aim. Yet, you evade my questions. Perhaps is something more you speak of requires other than a simple choice between destiny and free will. My beliefs defy easy classification. Let's discuss something else. Yes? Milady, what happened to those hosts in shining armor? I fought the legend of the Holy Grail. My bold knights, I know not why, determined to embark on a mission. They claimed it their destiny to find the Holy Grail. Alas, my powers cannot vanquish destiny. I failed at guiding the poor wretches onto the right path. The Grail was never found? Just so. Know you the legend of the Grail? I lost my memory. Speak with a hermit watching over the graves of those brave seekers. Though boring, he knows the Grail's legend perfectly. I'll visit him. If you return intent on a mission of paramount importance, believe me, I can be unpleasant. Milady, you look pensive. Sometimes I see the future, Witcher. Destiny has entangled its threads round a Witcher. His path leads into a dark future, into sadness and pain. I wish to help him survive. Who is it, milady? You, or Berengar. Speak with him, and may one of you take up Destiny's threat. I'll speak to Berengar. Everything all right? Great sadness. No peace in house. I'm sorry to hear that. Talk. Gulpul Talul. I saw a hostile Vodianoi on the shore. They be evil Dagon Nalbatol. This love lady's altar. I must had flee. Now they in water and I guard altar again. What's Witcher in your language? Witch Malal Bul. Witch Malal? 
Oh, it's my lord Bull. Bull must be. No, Bull means idiot. <laughs> All right, then I'm Witch Malol Bool. <laughs> yes, so you be. <laughs> I've taken Beringer's job. Tell me about this conflict. We underwater live deep. We lady love, yet not all. Many on love, lady leave. The humans kill. I plead your sword Dagon tis love. I give reward. I see. Big blood bovine in village. Dagon for her come. This love Dagon. I give reward. Something sword. Something wonderful. You want me to steal the cow and use it to bait Dagon? This love big blood bovine on altar. Dagon come from deep. I'm supposed to kill it on the altar. Prefer human sacrifice. Yeah. Have you spoken with the Lady of the Lake? Goddesses don't speak to mere mortals. Spare me the sarcasm. So what momentous news did the local goddess divulge? Just don't get all momentous on me. She spoke about destiny. Destiny doesn't interest me. But if you want to play hero, be my guest. I'll even help. See... I tricked you recently. What? Salamandra actually forced me to betray a few formulae, subjected me to some tests. I didn't even protest. They paid me well. Why? You know why. I wanted to marry, have children, friends, a normal life. The witches robbed me of that chance. This is nothing new to you. Humans hate me. When they see my eyes, they blanch in fear. And children... Tell me, What's the difference between your dear Camoran and a Salamandra lab? I'm not here to tell you I'm any better than you. Leave. The mere sight of you irks me. I'm beginning to doubt myself. Farewell. Mother Sax Dwarf Cock! Geralt? I'm here about the notice. I'll buy any basilisk hides you have. Reptile skin shoes are in fashion in Vizima, you know. I have three hides. Let me have a look. Undamaged, excellent. Here's your reward. Yes? Berengar has no interest in destiny. Clearly my vision pertained to you, Geralt. If you say so. When the time comes, I shall aid you with a gift. Yes? Milady, can I do anything for you? The peace of my land has been destroyed. Disturbed. The humans and the Vodianoi quarrel due to greed, fear, and misunderstanding. I assume each side has an informal leader. You assume correctly. You may speak to the Vodianoi priest near my statue. Julian represents the humans. I'll tend to this. Who is in the right? It's not about who's right. I want them to reconcile. Then you must slay Dagon. To do so, bring me objects symbolizing harmony from both communities. I'll return soon. You will find clues on the nature of these objects on the statue. Hulk! Gulpul Talhul! The Lady of the Lake wants to help resolve the conflict. Lialul be what? The Lady of the Lake wishes the Vodianoi to live in peace with humans. Killing their favorite cow wouldn't help. <laughs> Yet Dagon must disloved be. I can take care of that too. But you'd have to give me something. Mm. Oh, big blood bovine better idea. Oh, yet obedient must be for lady. Oh, choose. The gold bracelet. Hmm. 
I'd like to get a letter to Vizima. <sighs> Thanks. Hmm. Geralt? An agreement with the Vodianoi is possible. I think so. That is the will of the Lady of the Lake. Care to take issue? No, Witcher. I'm no fool. In that case, I'll need something that symbolizes your devotion to her and your desire to achieve peace with the Vodianoi. Of course. What shall I give you? The alabaster figure depicting a young Vodianoi capturing a water elemental. Here it is. It would have fetched a fine price in Vizima, but peace is more important. Your mother sacks dwarf cock. Yes? Milady, are these what you wanted? Indeed. Here, pour a drop of my blood onto the altar. Challenge Dagon to a duel. So be it.
Yes? I killed Dagon. In gratitude, I will part the curtain of mists, allowing you to recall something of your past abilities. Thank you, milady. Use my gift wisely. Milady, it seems I am needed in murky waters. Destiny has brought you here. We must speak. Naturally. I am a goddess. You are the sword of destiny. Death has followed you for years. Perhaps. Accept this gift from the Lady of the Lake. It will help you fulfill your destiny. What gift is that? Neil, Geralt of Rivia, White Wolf. You traveled a long path fraught with danger. You demonstrated courage and goodness. By divine power, I hereby knight you. Face your enemies without fear. Safeguard the helpless. Never lie, even if it means your death. That is your oath. Arise, a knight. Destiny will give you no rest. A long road lies ahead. I see death and blood. I see frosty chaos. Take this sword as a sign of my favor. Once the blade of a great warrior, it lay in the depths for ages, awaiting your arrival. Milady. Shh, Witcher. It matters not if you believe in destiny. With the blade I present you, you will complete your mission. Thank you, Milady. Go, White Wolf, and do what must be done. May you fulfill your destiny. I betrayed Kier Morin's location to the Salamandra leader. Then I helped them with their research. I was hunting the beast in the outskirts of Vizima when they captured me. I escaped and ran into Kalkstein, accepting his offer to open the tower in the swamp. That's when they nabbed me again. They weren't as nice the second time around. Finding Alvin, bringing him to them, was the only way I could save my skin. Why are you telling me this? I wanted to tell you to your face. See that famous icy glare of yours. I don't intend to judge you. Does that mean you understand? You don't condemn me? I can't condone your choices, but I guess I understand. Meaning? Do what you think is right. I'm not your nanny. Take this. We'll meet again, White Wolf. Geralt of Rivia! I've oft heard of your death. Forgive me, but I don't think I've ever heard of yours. White Rayla. What brings you here, Witcher? Slaying monsters. Nothing unusual. Have you seen a unit of elves in the area? No. No units. Watch what you say. You're hardly untouchable. If I discover you working with the Scoyotel... Threatening me? No. Merely helping you to avoid a serious error whose consequences might prove too dire for you to handle. You watch your step too. I'm not some emaciated elf. I can defend myself. I don't doubt it. Know that Vizima is burning. Non-humans have turned it into a war zone. Those poor starving elves are murdering humans by the dozen. My orders are to halt the unit to Ruvia Lepshahil commands and I won't have you getting in my way. They're cowering in the village and have taken hostages. We'll attack soon. I'll talk to the elves. Maybe they'll listen to reason. Siegfried vouched for you, so I'll give you a chance. Your intervention at the bank prevented the Scoyotel from gaining gold to buy arms and provisions. Though weak, I doubt they'll heed you. But you never know. Promise them a fair trial if they lay down their arms. I'll try to persuade them. 
Wait until I return. You have my word. A good elf is a dead elf. Smash the non humans. <sighs> As White Rayla's adjutant, I would like a word with you, Witcher. I spoke to Rayla. Heard enough for today. Rayla is an excellent officer and truly detests non humans. Perfect to lead this mission. But let me guess. Though she's a mercenary, she has her honor and keeps her word. Yet she's prepared to avert a massacre of civilians, even if that means the elves will escape. We foiled the robbery at Vivaldi's bank, and the Scoyatel are weakened. We can afford the best mercenaries, yet we cannot trust Rayla as we trust you. Looking to recruit me? Am I to stand with Rayla and kill the elves before they murder the hostages? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just walk. I'll put it in your terms. Monsters infest the village, hunt its inhabitants. They are destitute and hungry and all the more dangerous for that. Stand with Raylor, Witcher, with the Order, against these monsters. Why would I do that? For some of Vivaldi's gold? No, to support a just cause and prevent a massacre like that in the outskirts, and to save your friends from ravenous beasts. Geralt? Dandelion. Teruviel's elves have taken hostages in the village. What do we do? I spoke with Rayla. She's leading the Knights of the Order. Geralt. Alvin's one of the hostages. I know. I'll try negotiating with them. All right. I'll keep a lookout behind the village mayor's house. When you're ready, come tell me what to do. I need to talk to White Rayla and Teruviel. Somehow I doubt this will be easy. You'll manage. See you. strange. I can hear what they're thinking. It's terrible, Geralt. Do you have the necklace? Yes, I wear it all the time. I don't want to hear them. Geralt, why are the elves doing this? The elves refuse to concede that the world has changed. They cannot win, but still they fight. It's their sad, desperate attempt at halting evolution. I'll remember that, Geralt. Something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. I've got to talk to Toruviel. Stay here. Should I... Mercy! Geralt, why have you come? I've come to prevent a massacre. There will be no massacre if they let us depart. You could have left the children alone. In faith I could not. White Rayla stands on that shore. Several peasant corpses made no impression on her. The children halted her advance. White Rayla wants you to lay down your arms. She guarantees you a fair trial. You take me for a fool, Witcher. White Rayla exacts only one punishment, death. The unit from Vizima spoke of you. Why should I trust you? Release the peasants, then you can kill each other as you please. I shall release no one. Try any of your tricks and these Dwan will die. And tell that singer to cease lurking behind the house before someone puts an arrow in his ass. Geralt? Dandelion, things have gone from bad to worse. Scoyatel on one side, the Order on the other, and us in the middle with Alvin. One should never negotiate with terrorists. Negotiation leads to concessions. Concessions are a victory for terror. Folks become fearful, uncertain. I chose the lesser evil. 
The bank's new owners were grateful for the order's intervention. They agreed to support the crusade against non-humans. We won't need to wait long to see the results. Geralt, what now? Leaving's not an option. You'd make enemies of both the Order and the non-humans. I'm not worried about that. I'd rather save Alvin, but if I go, there could be a massacre, and I have friends to think about. Witcher, this feels like a pivotal moment. What you do will have consequences. So do we grab Alvin and leave them to it? No, I intend to help the Knights. Don't get involved, Geralt. Nothing good ever comes of it. I've decided. Care to help? Sure. I want to get Alvin out of here. I can't allow him to be harmed in any way. The little one has come to love you as a son loves a father. We do not kill children. Take him with you. I negotiated a peace between the humans and the Vodianoi. I also defeated Dagon. Mm -hmm. Nothing to say again? Mm -hmm. Care to try? A short magic word. I know you can do it. Mm -hmm. Come now, before I decide you're a grumpy boob and a dimwit. Mm -hmm. Grumpy boob. Dimwit. Because I don't feel the need to talk incessantly. I may not be the most talkative, but a grumpy boob and a dimwit? That's harsh. Well, you're welcome anyway. Geralt? This is bad. Really bad. What happened? Alvin opened a portal and disappeared. He could be anywhere. We need to get back to Vizima. Triss might have some ideas. Vizima it is, then. After you.
We arrive in Vizima soon. Hmm. Smell that? Yeah. Smoke. Something's burning. Heavy and stifling. Like thatched roof huts. Damn it, Geralt, look! God damn it, Geralt. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You should be used to the sight of fighting by now, Dandelion. We should never grow accustomed to violence and horror, especially the sensitive among us. Luckily, we mutants have no feelings, is that what you mean? Shut up and tell me what you're doing. Berengar's letter contains some clues. To start with, we need to get into the city. That will be neither easy nor safe. I agree. But I won't give up now that I'm so close. Nose to the ground, forging on. You're like a bloodhound on a fresh trail. Old Vizima awaits. Probably the site of the heaviest fighting, then there's the plague. We need to get inside. Finally, I'll find out who's behind Salamandra. Geralt? You sure you want to come? I'd never desert you. I want to help. But matters may get intense. I hope you don't think I'm scared. Not at all. I knew you'd be back sooner or later. You missed a lot. Greetings, Vincent. Why are you here? I'm responsible for King Radovid's safety while he's in Temeria. We'd be deep in it if anything would have happened to him. Has Foltest returned? Yes. He's an old Vizima. Knowing whose orders we're following really boosted morale. I need to get into old Vizima. I stand a chance of getting in alone, but not with... Do you follow? What's going on? I have a job for you, Dandelion, regarding King Radovid. The Witcher's flapping tongue would be a liability. Why do I think you're up to something? It's true. I'm not suited to converse with kings. Done. Dandelion, wait for me at the king's camp. Geralt, do what you must. Hmm. We are the Royal Guards. Greetings, Geralt. Your Highness. Congratulations on the Professor. Pompous twit tried to blackmail me once. Thanks for the good news. My pleasure. What brings you here? I want to finish off Salamandra. Good. Finish the bastards. What's the situation in Vizima? Total chaos. But thanks to my agents, Foltest returned and is trying to restore order. I see. I'd like to be on my way, sire. Farewell. What are you doing here? Stretching my legs. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> you alright, Zoltan? Haven't started taking fist tech, have you? Nah, I'm just allergic to bastards. Spare me. What's going on? What's going on? Kids are orphaned one day and kill the next. Your precious order is slaughtering women, children, civilians, everyone. The elven civilians have returned a few blows. Virtually all non-humans have taken up arms. Turns out they trapped healthy non-humans with sick humans in Old Vesima to finish us with a plague. Have proof? <laughs> Allergies still bothering me. Here's what Shani said. Zoltan, how can a witcher be so stupid? Those murdering knights could have spared the civilians. Yada, yada, yada. Go away, you're aggravating my allergy. Come here. <laughs> My honor, one of the other things we will get serious. Hide up the end!
Uh, gracious sire, this is madness. You should not expose yourself to such danger. Wait here and allow me to summon a stronger force. Nonsense, Velorad. This is my city, the capital of my kingdom. Damn it, I rule this land, and I refuse to creep around its corners. Uh, gracious sire! Silence! You know you might as well wipe your ass with those intelligence reports. I want to see it with my own eyes. Humans attacking! Uh, protect the king! You return, sire. I trust you are not too late. Your kingdom is in need. You should know kings are never late, Jacques. Sire, flames engulf half the city, and the blood of your subjects fills the gutters. This is no time for word games. You must act. What do you propose? Allow me to command your army, and the freedom to do as I see fit. Never. Over my dead body. It was close this time. Next time, I might arrive too late to help. I've seen enough. Velorad, back to the castle. What is he doing here? He dropped in. He seems to have a talent for that. What shall I do with him? He'll come with us. I have a matter to discuss with him. Witcher of Rivia. Sire, I am honored. As I'm sure you surmised, I have not summoned you here out of whim. A serious matter weighs upon us. A curse binds my daughter. I want you to remove it. I have gathered all who might offer aid. Duet has been the princess's adjutant for the past half year. Velorad has known Ada since her childhood. And Triss Merigold is here for her extensive knowledge of magic and female intuition. Mm -hmm. Consult them and think upon this matter. We shall speak about it again soon. As you wish, your highness. In the meantime, equally urgent issues demand our attention. I'm listening, sire. Witcher. Imagine returning home from an excursion against a monster, a Kikimor, for instance, only to discover your home a whorehouse. Your Highness. I'm not finished. Those you left in charge failed you. A traitor threatens to oust you from the home of your ancestors. Wouldn't you be angered? Would you not elect to shed more blood? Absolutely, sire. The non-humans must pay. With your backing, the Order... Unfortunately, the Knights have forgotten their place. They've developed a taste for power and want more. That is not something I can allow. You stood by while the Order's power increased. Perhaps you should negotiate with the Grand Master. And perhaps I should behead the Grand Master and his underlings. That would solve the problem. Sadly, it's not that simple. I'm certain you're right, sire. I must attend to some urgent matters. Speak with these excellent minds. Gain their insight. And don't forget my daughter, Witcher. I'm counting on you. I won't forget. My servant will summon you when I have more time. Hmm. No, better not. Yeah. Witcher? Count. No titles, please. Let us bury past misunderstandings in the name of a greater cause. So be it. Geralt? The king wants me to lift the curse that holds Ada. Not surprising. You succeeded once, though it nearly cost you your life. The Striga's appearance possibly spells the end for Foltest. Many say he offended the gods. Remember how she first became a Striga? Remind me. As a youth, Foltest had quite an appetite. 
so much so that he ploughed his own sister. Their child died at birth, but then continued to grow in its coffin, only coming out to feed. Then you arrived and broke the spell, though apparently not completely. The Striga's reappearance proves the royal dynasty is cursed. The people are sensitive to such signs. No wonder Foltest wants you to kill the Striga. I thought I was supposed to lift the curse. You are to keep the Striga from becoming an eyesore. The chance of removing the curse is minimal. I've heard a rumor of an additional reward for killing the Striga. Would the rumor mention how much? Five thousand orans. Nice number. Any idea who's spreading this rumor? No. However, there are other things to consider. If you do solve the Striga problem, the king might take his savior's advice. Have anything specific in mind? A fresh yet unsigned decree on the king's desk disbands the order. If you ask the king to reconsider, well, your friend Siegfried would be grateful. Maybe Velorad. Have you seen that slut Marigold's attire? How indecent. Poor Velorad. Scheme of folk. Faltes grows meaner with age. Geralt, I was worried about you. I worried too. I'm proud of you. Heard how you fought for Alvin. Horrible things are happening in Vizima. True, but the king has placed me under his, um... Protection. Tell me, where's Alvin? Uh, Alvin vanished into thin air one day, despite the amulet I gave him. Vanished? That's awful. He might be anywhere in time and space. I had hoped the amulet would block those abilities. I hope he'll be all right. Triss, I've been thinking about us. Oh, Geralt. I love you. I want to be with you no matter what. Love is the sole thing of beauty in these rotten times. Geralt... I could change, take fewer risks. We'd find Alvin, live together. I'd build a house. A house? Nice dream. You could breed horses and sheep. I'd tend the garden, cook meals. We'd sell what we grew to buy copper pots, iron rakes. We'd age with dignity. Evenings you'd play bagpipes of your own making as a remedy for my gloom. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Geralt, say something. I can't lose you. I'm here. These are trying times. We just need to survive. We can dream again when the madness passes. Triss, I... I love you too, Geralt. To the end of time. Wish on a star. A witcher in my native Beauclair in the Duchy of Tucson. A witcher once spent an entire holiday feast dancing with a sorceress. Not I, my lady. I dance rather poorly. Hmm. Do all witchers have white hair? No, my lady. I am alone in that. Perhaps I am confused. Regardless, I do have a certain matter for you. How can I help? Très bien. Mon Dieu. My three cousins recently fled the city due to some uh, unfortunate coincidences. Did they incur the king's disfavor? Of a sort. I wish to send them some coin to alleviate their situation. Understand? Perfectly. I'll act as messenger for an appropriate fee. Ah, parfait! My cousins, Corbin, Bus, and Ramaro, sought refuge in the swamp, in the caves there. Please deliver 300 orens to each of them. As for my fee... My cousins will give you a receipt. Take these to Ovezima, to the captain of the mercenaries, my fiancé. He will reward you. Farewell. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Velorad. I saw you uh, speaking with the king. I gather it was unpleasant. It could be worse. Geralt. The king told me about Ada. Dreadful. You warned us it might return. Uh, can you break the spell a second time? We'll see. You seem to remember last time well. 
Certainly. You stayed from dusk till dawn in the old manor house where the Strigger had her sarcophagus. Kept half the city awake with the noise you made. We uh, went to the manor at dawn and saw the two of you lying on the floor by the sarcophagus in a pool of blood. You were barely breathing, but the princess was cured. With the traitor Ostrid dead, the king was overjoyed. Hmm. Many victims this time round? I don't know. These days, the corpse is like thicker than flies on a pile of manure. Know where the Strigger sleeps in daytime? No, but she's been seen in old Vizima. Uh, she may hunt there. Removing the princess's curse will be risky. True, but the king has ways of encouraging you to do it. We'll see. Do what you will, but remember, Foltest loves his daughter very much. I know. Geralt. Aren't you a bit afraid, Velorad? The king looked irate. At me? I'd watch what I say if I were you. Hmm. I've served Temeria all my life. If they condemn me, I'll hold my head high as I walk to the gallows. Farewell. Geralt. What do you think about the situation with Ada? She's a Striga, Geralt. We both know that curses don't cast themselves. Any theories? Years ago when you first removed the curse, you ordered the princess to wear a necklace with an inclusion. Juniper, broom, and hazel branches were to be burned in her chambers. Don't tell me. Someone replaced the necklace and added crap to the fire. Yes. Someone close to her who knew the secret. Velared might know something. So you think I should aid the king? Definitely. In a sense, I'm a political prisoner. I could teleport away, but that would be highly inappropriate, and I still have a few matters to settle here. What might those be? I wouldn't dream of boring you with them. I know you're busy slaying non-humans. It's not like that. Oh, excuse me. Quelling a rebellion. Is that what they call it? Eliminating terrorists? I see no difference. I've got to go. Our merciful master will see you now, sir. Go upstairs to his chambers. I'll go immediately. Witcher. Your Highness. No need for titles. Speak freely. You've had time to think. What's the prognosis on removing the curse from my daughter? It's possible. Could the curse have returned by itself? Unlikely. Someone must have cast it again. Should you succeed, would... Would Ada's mind be that of a child? I don't believe so. She'd likely recall all that occurred before her transformation. You don't believe so? You're not making this any easier, Geralt. Do what you can to remove the curse. Failing that, you may slay her without fear of retribution from me. When I last gave you my trust, you did not disappoint me. Thank you, sire. Don't thank me yet. Should you learn who cast the curse, tell me and only me. If you succeed, I'll grant your every wish, within reason, of course. If you must slay her, do it quickly, cleanly. If you fail and my daughter suffers, those dear to you will suffer too. I understand, sire. Good. Sire, another disease consumes your kingdom. What would that be, Witcher? I have been investigating an organization known as Salamandra. My daughter dealt with them, stupid girl. I regret I ever departed. To your credit, Venerad said you thinned their ranks considerably. I trust you shall finish the matter. Exactly my aim. One last matter, Witcher. Forgive me, but I had you followed. I received a report about your personal life. Your Highness. You must know that I hardly did this out of lewd curiosity. My spies report that you are romancing Merigold. I need to know if there is anything more to it. We're lovers. Nothing more, nothing less. Ha! I knew it from the start. My spies have much to learn. I suspected it was only sex. Enjoy, Geralt. If you desire to go to Vizima, talk to my Chamberlain. I shall be away from the castle for some time. 
See Velorad about any other needs. So I shall. Farewell, sire. One more thing, Witcher. Yes, sire. This is, um, confidential. So you must pledge these words will not venture beyond these walls. I shall take them to the grave with me. My spies tell me you play poker. And, well, I have trouble finding worthy opponents at court. They fear I would have their heads if I lost. Care to play?